Hello, this is Tyler Young with Go Engineer, and I'm a senior support engineer. Today I want to show you in SolidWorks Composer how you can reuse information from SolidWorks, specifically reuse the custom properties that you've defined in SolidWorks. So here we're looking just at my model in Composer, but let's actually go back into SolidWorks and take a look at what I have. So this is, was my model created from SolidWorks. And in this model, I created custom properties for all of my different parts. So let's take a look at one of those. I'm just going to open up this single part. And I'm going to look at the custom properties. So here you can see I have two custom properties defined, a simple material and a material. The simple material, I just typed in the value wood. The material is actually using the SolidWorks material, which you can see defined over here of cedar. So those are my custom properties that I have defined, and I've done that for all the other parts as well. So let's jump back into Composer. Now we want to make a bill of materials that reuses those custom properties. So I'm just going to quickly create a bill of materials. So I'm going to come click on the bill of material. And looking at the visible geometry, I'm going to apply generate BOM IDs for all visible geometry. So I click that that creates a bill of materials for me down here. I'm just going to increase this a little bit so it's easier to see for us. So in my bill of materials by default I get a description, a bomb ID, and quantity and that's what comes up from Composer each time you create one. But again we want to reuse that information so to do that we're going to come click on our bomb property manager and then we're going to click on this configure bomb columns. So that pulls up this option. So now we can look at these different properties. So the first option of properties is all of the properties we have available to us in Composer. We can change these and we can add and we can add these different properties to our bill of materials. But what we want to be looking at is this meta properties. So these meta properties are items that come from SolidWorks. So we can just add these by double clicking them um, and that adds them to our bill of materials. If we click OK you can now see our bill of materials has that material and simple material that was defined in our SOLIDWORKS model. So using this customization in your bill of material you can get information from SOLIDWORKS so you don't have to recreate it in Composer. This can really save you a lot of time um, in using custom properties and in creating your bill of materials from Composer. I hope this helps you in your design process. Again, this was Tyler Young with Go Engineer. Thanks.